So six black passengers were kicked off of a Spirit Airlines flight from L.A. to Dallas on Monday night after over a double booked seat. Now, the passengers are claiming that the white flight attendant ejected them from the plane because they were black and that she felt threatened. Let's take a look at the video. This cell phone video captures the tension escalating aboard the Spirit Airlines jet as passengers are boarding the flight from L.A. to Dallas. And we have witnesses that this man wasn't causing any kind of problem. We have the flight attendants being rude. The incident took place Monday evening on board Spirit Airlines Flight 868 from Los Angeles to Dallas. And according to witness accounts, three black couples were escorted off the aircraft prior to departure by police officers after a flight attendant accused one person in the group of being a threat. Now, the airline said the group of passengers were disruptive and unruly. Uh, and according to witnesses, it all started with a dispute over a seat which the African-American couples claimed was double booked by the airline. Now, Ty Walker, who was also among the travelers ejected from the flight, told CBS Los Angeles the man in the cell phone video was told by the white flight attendant that he must switch seats. Now, according to Walker, uh, the man was ready to comply when the stewardess made a remark to him, which we don't know what it was, prompting the passenger to say in reply something along the lines, I'm not talking to you, don't talk to me. Now, Walker said the flight attendant then summoned police on board and had the man escorted off the flight. When the other African-American passengers spoke out in the man's defense and questioned the ejection from the plane, police officers were called back and booted the others off the aircraft as well. Okay, so first off, obviously super hard to tell what happened on the right. plane. That's a really short video. You don't know if it was racism, and a lot of people get super touchy on planes. So let's just get that out of the way. Yeah. No way of knowing for sure. Okay, right. um, and you don't know who was rude first. Obviously, some people were rude at some point, right? You don't know if it was the passengers, or you don't know if it was the flight attendant. Okay, now let's look at the context clues though, and try to figure out who's right. Because that's what we do, mm -hmm. right? So uh, on the one hand, you got witnesses saying, "No, the guys were rude. The passengers were rude." On the other hand, you've got other African American. Uh, on the flight who said, hey, no, no, wait, actually, the flight attendant was being rude, and it was double booked. I mean, they say that it was double booked, it was double booked, they put right. other people in the seats. So, I, I don't know, but if they said, okay, you're going to have to leave the plane because I, I put your, I gave somebody else your seat, it doesn't matter what the race is, oh, hell no, then I'm going to be rude. Yeah. yeah, if you tell me, hey, I'm going to evict you from the plane because I'd just rather give it your seat to someone else. Hell no, I'm already on the plane. Also, have you been on Spirit <laughs> Airlines? Like, that's a reason enough to be upset because they, they're super cheap, they're discount airlines, and then they trick you and they charge you for like every little thing. Oh, you want a seatbelt? We're going to charge you for that. Right. They're, what? Like, yeah, no, well, not that. I mean, I'm being hyperbolic. Uh, uh, but not by much. I mean, if you bring on carry ons, they charge you for carry ons. Charge you for water. Some, air, some airplane, I mean, airlines do that. I understand. I mean, look, Spirit Airlines might be. I mean, I think all airlines are terrible overall. Like, it's this most amazing mode of transportation where you get to go from one place to the other in a matter of minutes, as opposed to walking or traveling by car. But then, because of that, and it's a business, they're trying to make as much money as possible. Because of that, I feel like they're just like, no, like you, they they overbook constantly. They're always delayed. I mean, and there's, I feel like there's no better alternative. I have not ever been on a plane where I'm like, this is perfect. Like, this went very smoothly. I love this. I'm going to take <laughs> this air. I mean, I'm going to travel with this company from going forward all the time. But yes, of course, we've talked about United, American, so many of these. And part of the reason for that is, is something else I've mentioned on the show before. They literally have this thing on, uh, in the airline industry called calculated misery. Mm. They try to make you more miserable so you'll upgrade to better seats and they'll make more money. Or you won't bring on your carry-on and they'll charge you for, for actually putting it into luggage. That's why they make the carry-on space smaller and smaller. So they know what they're doing. Now, but if you're going on Spirit, you know the deal. Everybody knows by this. In the beginning, I remember first time I went on Spirit and they're like, I'm going to charge you for breathing. I was like, what? Right? <laughs> but now everybody knows that's their business model, so don't complain about that. But now, to the substance of what happened to these guys, the part, so, there's one thing that's a little bit of a red flag, and then there's something that's a huge red flag. Little red flag is, look, I, I dated a, a, a Jamaican girl. She, she was black, and and sometimes she was loud. You know who else is loud? Me, right? <laughs> and we'd go into movie theaters, and whenever she said, people would start saying like, "Oh no, you know, you you got to be quiet." And 
And I'm like, but wait a minute, I was loud too, but why aren't you saying it to me? Mm. So maybe yes, sometimes it, it there's a, a feeling of perception. Did I was it real or did I just perceive it that way? But it, this is not a thing that's never happened before where African Americans are called unruly or too loud, right? And so we did a story just a couple of weeks ago about these women who were on a lovely wine tour. Right. And they got kicked off the bus because one white woman didn't like their group. They they thought she would they were having too good a time. They were laughing too loud on a wine tour, right? And they got ejected from the bus. So it has happened in the past. So when you say, oh, these black guys were too unruly, a little bit of a red flag, because you don't know, maybe they were unruly, right. right? Okay. But the big red flag was the last thing that Hannah read to you guys. When the other African American passengers spoke out in their defense, they brought the cops back to evict them. Now, wait a minute, they didn't do anything, right? right? They weren't unruly in the beginning. Their uh, tickets weren't a double book. There was they didn't do anything wrong. They just said, hey, don't do that to that guy. You dare question me? You're unruly too. You're getting ahead the hell off. You look to bring cops on a plane. That is pretty severe. Right. Like I need some sort of physical violence or a significant threat of violence or a knife. Bringing cops on a plane to take somebody out is super serious. You don't do it because like ah, I double booked your ticket and you were a little rude to me. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. So when you t look at it in its totality, it, again, you can't know for sure. But it seems like the passengers have a better case and, than the airline, and that's why they weren't arrested or anything. It was they just immediately dismissed them off the plane. They were like, "Okay, this was a case of a business altercation, so we're just going to let this go." But they go. didn't rebook them, it, which was messed up. Oh, you can take my no, money. You're not going to rebook me. No, you're going to kick off the, and use cops to get me off the plane. And the more we talk this about it, the more guidelines. I'm pissed about it. No, I know, but this is literally in their guidelines. Let me read something to you. Customers may be required to leave the aircraft if they're disorderly, abusive or if they're intoxicated under the influence of drugs, which is understandable. And then it gets a little weird. It's like if they interfere or attempt to interfere with the flight crew, right? But then the last one is ridiculous where it's if they have offensive, this is actual spirit air guidelines, okay? Has offensive odor unless caused by a qualified disability. So they can literally, and they don't have to, they're not eligible for a refund if they get kicked off the flight for any of these reasons. That's a way of saying we can do anything exactly. we want to, yeah. right? And so, hey, you looked, uh, I don't know if you looked funny, but you looked at me kind of funny, right? I double booked your ticket, whatever. Oh, you were a little disorderly. Ha <laughs> ha, there play, goes your ticket. You smell bad but is a reason. But to play devil's advocate, I mean, flight attendants obviously are fearful and they try to be more careful and they try to be extra cautious because of events. And so they, they don't want to take any chances. So if somebody's being a little in their face, and dude, if you're on a plane all day serving people pretzels and water, you're going to be a little testy. Do you know what I mean? Of course you're yeah, going to be a little testy. <laughs> so so I sort of understand maybe why the first person she kicked off, like you mentioned, when they kicked off the rest of the people, that's when she, I think, went over the line. Yeah, uh, to me, kicking out the rest of the people is an, a no-brainer. That right. I can tell. That's definitely wrong. right? The first guys, it, you, we weren't there. But, right. but that being said, yeah, I know you get testy, but that's part of your job, man. It's, it's, it's not an easy job. Yeah, dealing with all those people, I'm sure is a pain in your ass. And I'm sure there's super unreasonable people on planes, mm -hmm. but that is part of the job, and you can't just kick people off. And the last thing on it is, do certain types of people get kicked off of planes more? Of course they do, right? One of them, by the way, is males, right? I'm sure males are kicked off of flights more than females are, right? Because they're perceived as a threat more than females are. Another yeah. one is Alec Baldwin. <laughs> Very likely qualifies to get kicked under off. several of those things, yeah. right? And so, are do African Americans get kicked off planes more? I don't know. And look, we when we talk about violence by cops against African Americans, we have statistics on it. This we don't have statistics on, but we do know that there's been many studies that show that people perceive African Americans to be bigger threats than they actually are, right? So, are they more likely uh, to be a victim of that? Yes. Was it in this case in the original couple? We don't know.